British Army abandonment scandal, children in Kenya left behind. Reports have surfaced about British soldiers fathering children in Kenya and abandoning them. This scandal has drawn significant attention and criticism, highlighting not only the personal tragedies involved, but also the broader implications for military conduct, international relations, and the responsibilities of foreign troops stationed abroad. The British Army has a long history of presence in Kenya, dating back to the colonial era. Currently, the British Army Training Unit Kenya, Baytuk, operates in the country, providing a base for military exercises and training due to Kenya's diverse terrain and favorable conditions. However, the relationship between the British military personnel and the local communities has been marred by allegations of misconduct, exploitation, and now, abandonment of children. The scandal came to light through investigative journalism and advocacy by human rights organizations. Reports detailed numerous cases of British soldiers fathering children with Kenyan women and subsequently abandoning them without any form of support. These children, often referred to as forgotten children, face a myriad of challenges, including stigmatization, poverty, and lack of paternal acknowledgement and support. The personal stories behind the scandal are heart-wrenching. Women have recounted relationships with British soldiers, often under promises of support and commitment, only to be left alone once the soldiers return to the UK. These women and their children face significant societal stigma, often being ostracized by their communities. For many of these children, the lack of paternal support means limited access to education, health care, and other basic needs. Mary, a young woman from a village near Nanyuki, shared her story of a brief romance with a British soldier. What started as a hopeful relationship quickly turned into a nightmare. After the soldier left, Mary was left pregnant and alone. She named her daughter Amina. Despite repeated attempts to contact the soldier and seek assistance, Mary received no response. Amina, now six years old, has never met her father. She often asks about him, but Mary struggles to explain the abandonment. Amina faces bullying at school due to her mixed heritage, and Mary struggles to provide for her, working multiple jobs to make ends meet. This story is emblematic of many others, highlighting the personal toll of the scandal. The British government and military have come under intense scrutiny and criticism. Human rights groups and local activists have called for accountability and justice for the abandoned children. There are demands for the British military to take responsibility, provide financial support, and ensure the welfare of the affected children. The scandal has also prompted questions about the conduct of British soldiers abroad and the oversight mechanisms in place to prevent such incidents. The British military's response to these allegations has been criticized as inadequate. Initial responses from the military were defensive, with statements focusing on the difficulties of verifying paternity and the personal nature of relationships between soldiers and local women. Critics argue that this response fails to address the systemic nature of the problem and the need for institutional accountability. Human rights organizations have called for thorough investigations and for the British military to establish clear protocols for addressing such issues. They advocate for mandatory paternity tests and the establishment of a support fund for children abandoned by British soldiers. These organizations argue that the military must take proactive steps to ensure the welfare of these children. Several legal battles have ensued as women seek to establish paternity and secure support for their children. Advocacy groups have provided legal aid, helping women file cases in both Kenyan and British courts. These efforts aim to hold the British military accountable and secure financial and social support for the affected children. One notable case involves a woman named Jane who successfully established paternity through DNA testing. Despite the positive result, securing child support has been a lengthy and complex process. Jane's case has set a precedent, encouraging other women to pursue legal action. The media has played a crucial role in bringing this issue to light. Investigative journalists have documented personal stories, uncovered patterns of abandonment, 
and held the British military accountable through persistent reporting. Public awareness campaigns have amplified these stories, drawing attention to the plight of the affected women and children. Social media platforms have also been instrumental in raising awareness. Hashtags such as Forgotten Children and Chalker British Army Scandal have trended, garnering international attention and support. This increased visibility has put pressure on both the British and Kenyan governments to address the issue. The Kenyan government has expressed its commitment to protecting the rights of its citizens and has called on the British government to take responsibility for the actions of its soldiers. Diplomatic negotiations are ongoing, with both governments seeking to establish frameworks that ensure accountability and support for the affected children. The British government has faced significant pressure to address the issue comprehensively. There have been calls from British MPs and human rights groups for the military to establish a support fund and ensure that abandoned children receive the care and resources they need. This scandal has strained British-Kenyan relations, with calls from Kenyan officials for the British government to address the issue comprehensively. The Kenyan government has expressed its commitment to protecting the rights of its citizens and has sought assurances that such incidents will not be repeated. Diplomatic negotiations are ongoing to establish frameworks that ensure the accountability of foreign military personnel and the protection of local communities. The scandal raises broader questions about the conduct of military personnel stationed abroad. The actions of the British soldiers in Kenya are not isolated incidents. Similar issues have been reported in other countries where foreign troops are stationed. This situation underscores the need for comprehensive oversight and accountability mechanisms to ensure that military personnel respect the rights and dignity of local populations. Local communities and advocacy groups in Kenya have been instrumental in bringing this issue to the forefront. They have provided support to the affected women and children, offering legal aid, counseling, and assistance in accessing basic services. These groups have also been vocal in demanding justice and reparations, organizing protests and awareness campaigns to keep the pressure on both the British and Kenyan governments. In the wake of the scandal, there have been renewed calls for comprehensive solutions to address the root causes of extremism and instability in Nigeria. Experts emphasize the need for a multifaceted approach that combines military action with socio-economic development, community engagement, and counter-radicalization efforts. Investing in education and job creation is seen as crucial to providing alternatives to radicalization and empowering young people. Strengthening local governance and addressing grievances related to corruption and inequality can also help build trust between communities and the state. Additionally, enhancing regional cooperation and intelligence sharing among West African countries is vital to tackling the cross-border nature of the threat. The humanitarian response to the attacks has been swift but fraught with challenges. Aid organizations working in the region face difficulties accessing affected areas due to security risks and logistical constraints. The influx of wounded patients has strained local hospitals, which are already under-resourced and overwhelmed by the ongoing conflict. Humanitarian agencies are calling for increased support and funding to address the urgent needs of the affected population. Efforts are focused on providing medical care, psychosocial support, and essential supplies to those impacted by the attacks. Long-term assistance is also needed to help communities rebuild and recover from the trauma. The British Army abandonment scandal in Kenya is a stark reminder of the broader implications of military deployments abroad. It underscores the need for comprehensive reforms to ensure that foreign troops act responsibly and that there are mechanisms in place to hold them accountable. These reforms could include better training on cultural sensitivity, stricter oversight of military conduct, and enhanced support systems for affected local populations. The British Army abandonment scandal in Kenya is a complex and deeply troubling issue that highlights the personal tragedies faced by the affected children and their mothers. It underscores the need for comprehensive reforms to ensure that foreign troops act responsibly 
and that there are mechanisms in place to hold them accountable. Through sustained efforts and a commitment to justice, it is possible to address the harm caused and prevent such incidents in the future. This scandal serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of accountability, justice, and the protection of vulnerable communities. As the international community continues to scrutinize the actions of foreign troops, it is crucial to ensure that the rights and well-being of local populations are upheld and protected.